Hello friends, in this video we will implement a half subtractor on breadboard. For this project, we need a breadboard. We need one seven four eight six Zorgit IC. We need one NotGit IC that is seven four zero four, and we need one NGit IC that is seven four zero eight. Also, we need two LEDs. You can use five mm LEDs, ten mm LEDs, or three mm LEDs. And we need 200 ohm resistors to connect to these LEDs. And we need a battery of 4 volt or 4.5 volt or 5 volt. If you don't have 5 volt battery, and if you have this type of battery, this type of 9 volt battery, because these are common in the market, then you have to convert it to 5 volt. If you don't know how to convert it, then please click the i button to watch the video. How to get 5 volt from this 9 volt battery? At first, we have to insert these ICs into the breadboard. We can see here is a Zor gate, and we can see from this diagram that from this IC diagram that here four Zor gate are there. When we keep this IC like this by keeping this cut mark to this side that is to left side we can see the first one is pin number one then second one is pin number two and third one is three that is pin number one and two is input that is these are input and three is output so that is why we have written here one and two and three same case for this not get ic also when we keep this ICs like this by keeping this cut mark here then pin number one is the input and two is the output that's why we have written one and two and in an in a not get ic there are six not get and in an end get ic there are four end gets so we will use only one from them that is this one then from here this one and from here this one so we will first insert these ic's so first we will insert this this 7486 that is Zorgate IC here and we have to keep this cut mark to this side left side then we will insert this end gate IC that is 7408 and then we will insert the not gate IC Now we will insert a small wire into this breadboard here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to use this entire row, that is this black wire row, as ground and we will connect this small wire to here also, so that I can use this entire row as VCC that we have considered. Now from all this IC diagram, we can see that pin number 7 is grounded, here also ground, here also ground. So we have to connect all these pins that is pin number 7 to ground and 14 to VCC. So here is the pin number 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this one 7 for second IC and this one 7 for second IC. That's for third IC. So we will connect these 7 pins to ground. That means first to our ground row to any of the hole. Then for this also to we have to connect it to ground and for third also then all the 14 pins to VCC so this last one is 14 so 14 to VCC to any hole of VCC row that we have considered so this one also and third one also okay now we can see pin number one of the Zor gate is connected to pin number one of the node gate so pin number one is connected to pin number one that is last one is our node gate so this is one to one now we can see 
pin number 2 of the AZOR gate is connected to pin number 2 of the AND gate. So 1, 2, that is second pin, and here also 2, 2, that is 2 second pin. Okay, it is now connected. Next, pin number 2 of the NOT gate is connected to pin number 1 of the AND gate. So here is pin number 2 is connected to pin number 1 of the no end gate that is to here now pin number 3 is the output from the zor gate and also pin number 3 is the b not output from the end gate so pin number 3 here 1 2 3 3 is the output so we will connect a wire and we will insert the other terminal to any pin of the breadboard similarly from this end gate we will connect from pin number 3 1 2 3 to any hole of the breadboard now this is the output and this is the borrow output now we will connect to leds to observe the output we will connect this green led as d point that is to here we will connect the positive terminal of the led to this uh, wire so here is the positive terminal that is long long one longer one and we connect it to here and other terminal to any point of the breadboard any hole of the breadboard and from the negative terminal we have to connect a 100 ohm resistor we will connect this any terminal and another terminal to ground row then we will connect a red led to observe the b naught that is from this point then we will connect the positive terminal here and negative terminal to any hole of the breadboard and we will connect from the negative terminal a 100 ohm resistor and we will connect it to ground pin so our circuit is now ready now we will observe the output from here we can see a is considered as input 1 and b is considered as input 2 so a is connected to pin number 1 of the zor gate so we will connect a wire here one and we will keep it like this and we will connect the second input as b that is this one from the second pin of zor gate that is we will connect it to here now this is point a and this is point b now we have to connect the battery to our circuit so the positive terminal of the battery to vcc that is to here and the negative terminal to ground that is to any pin of the ground now here is the truth table we can see when a is 0 b is 0 d is also the 0 and b naught is also 0 so we will test now we this is the a and this is the b a is 0 means we have to connect it to ground and b is 0 means we have to also we have to connect it to ground so we can see both the leds are now off this one is d and this one is b b naught that is this is also zero and this is also zero now we will set we will check for another set of input that is zero one a is zero that is all it is already connected to ground and b is one so one means we have to connect it to this this is zero now we can see both the leds are now on that is d is one d is one and b naught is one b naught is one now we will check for this one zero that is a is one now we have to connect this a pin to vcc and b is zero that is we have to connect it to ground now we can see the d is one that is it is now on and the red led is now off now you can also check for one one that is a this is also one and this is also one but the leds are now off so thank you for watching this video if you like our videos please please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can also buy electronic components projects from our website www.tpvtechnology.com thank you if you have any doubt then please comment